Hey folks, I'm Peter Melhorn. If you want to catch catfish this spring, well, you need to think like a crappie fisherman. So folks, it's springtime. Water temps are warming up now. Uh, I think our water temps are up into the uh, mid-60s. Fish are active. Everything's feeding. Everything's awake. Flatheads are moving. Blues are moving. Blues, the uh, male blues are starting to get some of their darker coloration in the uh, pre-spawn stages. So stuff's going on. Fish are moving. And it's not just catfish. Crappie, bass, carp, everything's active and a lot of them are moving into shallower water near the banks. And that's a good thing to keep in mind when you're pursuing catfish because all of these other species are nothing but a meal to a catfish. Good fish. He ripped off a lot of line. He took a lot of line. Probably crossed every line I got. That a boy. It's a good fish. I'm not sure if it's a flathead or a blue. It hit it and ran. I'm fishing on a piece of nasty structure. So I'm lucky. But I got him out of it. I think it's a blue. I just seen him on top. See how many lines we got? Not that many. Let's see if I can keep him on this side of the boat. Straight up. Big blue, big blue. Nice one. Smashed it like a freight train. Try to bug grip this one. Mike Byram say, morning from Lake Wiley. I got this one. Martin Bledsoe sent me these from Firewater Marine. Caught a fish yesterday in my live feed with it. Caught a big one today. Hook's going directly into the back of it. I'll put you a link down below. I guess he sells these things. He sent me some of the, these. Some of these rattling sinkers martin bledsoe firewater marine but that's it right there got a rattle that goes directly on the back of it so there you go great fish there he is ouch there he is good looking fish Ready to go back. Alive. Bam. Now if you've done any crappie fishing, you've got an advantage. You know where fish go in the spring. You know how to fish for them. Basically, you can take your catfish baits and put them back in those same areas. If you don't fish for crappie and don't know a lot about them, well one thing you can do is pay attention to what the crappie fishermen are doing on the lake, reservoir areas that you fish. Mimic, follow some of the areas they're fishing. Just use your catfish baits instead of crappie bait. All right, let's catch a fish. Stay button, it's coming up the boat. There it is, there it is, boom. Boom. Doesn't feel as big, he's coming up the boat though. Good go. There's nothing else going here. Did you clear that line? Yes, cleared that line. Good. Straight underneath the boat.
Yeah. Easy. Good looking fish. Oh, it. Now, in most places, this means fishing near the bank, shallower water, around docks, areas like that where these crappie move in to spawn. Uh, they're kind of back and forth. Uh, it kind of comes in waves. Uh, some days they're there, some days they're not. But they're moving back and forth between the banks and deeper water. And it's a great area to target and catch catfish. All right, guys, we're just about ready to call it a day. Just getting ready to reel stuff in. There's another line of bad storms coming. And I had a rod go. Man, I'll tell you, it was funny. Uh, when the wind was ripping and the rain was pouring, these fish quit biting. I mean, it's just shut down. And now I get hit with this one. Who knows, it may be getting better, but I've had a good day. I've been out here, smoked some fish right up here where the crappie are. Uh, I talked to a crappie guy, he came over here a little bit ago. And uh, he said, they're in here, they're in and out. and. Uh, I think it's a good pattern. I think it's a uh, good thing to, you know, if you're in an area that holds a lot of crappie, uh, find out where crappie fishermen are fishing. Fish those areas. Uh, blue cats seem to feed around them for whatever reason, whether they're in there just feeding or they're eating the crappie. Uh, either way, it's a good little pattern. A guy taught me that years ago and uh, it seems to work. Watch the crappie fishermen. Usually they're out in bigger numbers than the catfish guys are. So. That one is a rare throat hooked fish. So he's gonna get to take that hook home. What happens with those things is people say they rot out. They don't or rust out. They don't rust out. <clears throat> it's a good looking fish. Yeah, they don't rust out unless you're using some extremely cheap hooks. Good looking fish. Nice one. What happens is it basically creates a like dead place, uh, almost like a just a dead place of skin around it. And they end up dislodging and get passed out of the body that way. A lot of times if you'll ever catch a fish, have a hole in his mouth or somewhere around, that's what's happening. So. Another area you can fish is the back of creeks and coves. Uh, sometimes you'll go into the back of some of these creeks and you'll see these sticks sticking in the water. Uh, in a lot of places, these are sticks or marking brush piles, Christmas trees that are only in four, five, six feet of water these crappie fishermen put these things back in there and they go in there and fish them. They're also a very good place for you to catch catfish. Big one out there, boy. Big one. That is a big fish. I seen him blow up on top of the water. It's a good fish. Look at the line go. It's a good fish. Good, good fish. Just decided to go to where the crappy fishermen were fishing. A lot of these shallow places in these creeks. Crappy go shallow to spawn. Catfish go shallow to eat them. That's kind of what we're doing here. I need a net for this one, I'm pretty sure. It's coming at the boat. There, he can turn him back a little bit. If you wonder what the kicking was, that's me kicking the boat, trying to get the fish to turn. A big tail. It's going to take a net. Good fish. Only in about six feet of water right here. I'm trying to tire him just a little. Man, I can see the swirl off of him. It's the thing I hate about muddy water. You can't see where the fish is. Look at him go. He did not like the front of the boat. Another thing I had about muddy water, you can't tell how they're hooked. To get his head coming this way. Get his head coming this way. Need that head. Ah, dang.
Just got to get that head going, coming at me. It's been turned away every time. A little finessing. He does not want to come up here. Take a little patience, take a little time. But I got a dang good fish in the net. There it is, folks. Good looking blue cat. Monster blue cat in shallow water. Beating some crappy. Easy. Even crappy. Crappy eating blue cat. Getting back alive. Folks, hopefully this gives you some good information and another tactic for catching spring catfish.